What's up guys, today I got a little bit different of a video for you. So I woke up this morning and I had a text from Ben on my phone. And so he was actually invited to play in the International Junior Masters at East Aurora Country Club. So this is like a, definitely a big opportunity for him. We're definitely looking forward to it. Uh, it's at the end of June, it's June 28th through July 2nd. And there's gonna be kids from all over the world there, some of the best golfers around. So it's definitely gonna be a great time, big opportunity for him to get some recognition. It's just gonna be a great time of filming too. So yeah, we got 75 days until um, we're heading out there. So I mean, each and every day, you're gonna try to get out to the range, the course, um, some type of practice. Just gotta, gotta put a lot of work in. It's basically time to grind and just put a lot into this and hopefully you can compete when we get out there. But um, it was definitely a very prestigious tournament. It started in 1953 and it's for um, boys and I think they added a girls division this year, but boys from 14 to 18 years old. Definitely some top uh, caliber players from all around the globe have played um, many very like famous um, PGA golfers and uh, people that went on to play at great NCAA Division One colleges. So it's definitely a great time for exposure. I'm pretty sure he sent in his application around February, um, late February, early March, maybe. So it's been a little while, but. And I haven't, I hadn't even really looked into the tournament a lot until today, but it was very interesting. So I guess the first two days are just like normal stroke play, like a normal tournament. And then the second two days, it turns into like, um, like match play between all the competitors. There's 80 total competitors. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see stuff like that once we get out there. But, um, this player right here is just talking about, um, like Monday we'll get out there. Oh, we might be heading out Sunday. But Monday, have some practice rounds, get out to the range, probably film a, like a little video there, just how he's going to take on the course, because it, it is a very tough course. I'll upload a, a little course tour after this, but um, probably get out there, play that day, and get some notes down on how he's going to play each hole. Then we got a lunch at 11, a, uh, 11 yeah, 11 a.m., uh, dinner at, I think, 6 p.m., it's saying, and then... Um, nice little formal dinner there and then we get right after it so tuesday is the first round of like stroke play uh start around 7 a.m it says right there so we get out there probably tee off somewhere from 7 to 9 a.m and um gonna be playing with two other players so i mean hopefully i mean that's the first area there just gotta go out put a decent score together and then just let the other rounds feed off that but wednesday we go back out and uh there's going to be players teeing off on the front and back nine. So it's going to be like a little shotgun start. And um, uh, so right there, the top 16 players, yep, the top 16 players left will move on to the next two days. And so it's basically saying if there's like a tie or something, they'll just go to sudden death instead of, so like there won't be any more than 16. There will be some sort of tiebreaker. And then after that, so that's all in the morning and stuff. And so then... Uh, we'll go get some lunch probably so lunch will be whenever we finish and then each of these days I mean, it's just gonna I mean, it's just gonna be a great time down there Like we'll go back to the hotel or something watch some film edit up the videos and try to get them out that day But uh that Wednesday night we get to go to a champion's dinner I'm not sure what that entails, but that starts at six o'clock have to wear a sport jacket there um with a button-down shirt, so it'll be nice and formal and uh, and hopefully um We'll have some more golf to play after that day. So I'm not even really uh, familiar with what's going on Thursday yet, but it, it is match play. So we get out there early around 6.30 to hit the range. And then the matches are starting at six, uh, 7.30, my bad, 7.30 a.m. And they're continuing all the way through 6 p.m. So I'm just going to read exactly what it says. So all entrants will play in a match Thursday morning. This is the start of elimination. So basically you lose your out. Winners continue to play. Match winners are paired for the... All right, so there's going to be matches in the morning. And then if you survive, you move on to the afternoon matches. So... This is so confusing. But there's going to be 80 players forming 40 groups, 20 per side. Okay, yep, so like front nine, back nine. And then the putting green. All right, so basically in between your matches, you can hit the... Oh, no, you can't hit the range. The range is closed. But you can go over to the putting green and get lunch. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Let me try to figure out how many people are actually left after the first, um, after the Wednesday, because 
now it's hanging 80 players. I don't know. It's pretty confusing. But who knows? We'll find out eventually. So then we get to Friday. We have semifinal and final matches. And again, hopefully we're still playing today. That'd be pretty sick. And so we have um, morning semifinal matches. And then willingly we make it to the finals. And we got the championship match team off at 140. That'd be pretty sick. But um, it'll end around 5 o'clock and the award ceremony and whatever. So... Really, I mean, just trying to go out there and have some fun. Right here, it's just general information, kind of like the weather and what they'll do if there's rainouts and stuff. So, for the rules, just USGA rules. So, same thing they use on the PGA Tour. Um, there are we can they can have spectators out there, so I'll be out there filming them. Um, I'm just trying to stay out of their way, obviously. They're allowed to use rangefinders. Cell phones should be off at all times, and then uh, just wearing proper etiquette. So. The history page on their website definitely has a lot of a lot of information on it. So if you want to read more of it, um, I'll leave the link down in the description. It's uh, over on the internationaljuniormasters.com. But I thought it was pretty cool. It just talks about where a lot of the competition comes from. Obviously, many states in the United States, but then also like South Africa, Mexico, France, the Philippines, Scotland, Japan, Colombia, Peru, just countries literally all over the world. That's just what's so cool about this. And this list here just shows a bunch of PGA Tour players that uh, played in this tournament when they were younger. I know Abraham Answers on here, Jim Gallagher, Jim Furyk, uh, Corey Connors, just a bunch of great names that just shows it. Like, it's definitely a very serious tournament. And like I said, just a great opportunity. Down here is just the previous winners. So obviously the tournament was canceled last year in 2020, but a little bunch of names there that previously won it. And then... Uh, under there, there's some awards, but I'm not sure like what all the awards are for, so you can go check that out yourself. But yeah, I mean, this is definitely just going to be a fun time. I'm definitely going to get this week off from work, and we're going to get out there. He's going to play some great golf. I'm going to film it, great, get some great content for you guys, and hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Just wanted to let you know what we got going on. Definitely some great news that he gets to play in this. Very excited for it. It's going to be a great time over the summer. Great, uh, Some great golf, great filming. Get these videos up for you uh, and just show you what we got going on. But I will post the course tour of East Aurora Country Club where it's being held. Definitely some tough holes. Going to have to manage the course very well. I downloaded some of the videos from their website, so I'll get those up. I uh, just got to be careful not to get copyrighted or anything. But other than that, I uh, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.